My name is Major Ibrahim Mashalitete, the second in command at the Signal Training School. Currently, we are in collaboration with Soko Aerial Robotics, and we are having our initial engineer or our premier engineer training course in drones. This drone course was facilitated by General Asian and the Directorate of Communication. The instructions and the instructors were very proficient. The efficiency with which we undertook this three-week course is the result we have in front of us. The success speaks for itself. The course primarily centered on engineering. We touched on avionics, we touched on the ground school, and we finally built our own drone, as you can see. At the start of the training, we were told that in three weeks, we are supposed to design an aircraft which can fly. Uh, the thought of it was too daunting because it's a new field to some of us. We were taking through aerospace engineering, some bit of drone flying with ground system training. Today being the last day of the three week training, as you can see in my hands, is a fixed wing drone, which we designed and built in the center. This drone conducted its first flight today and it was successful. As part of the course, we put up two drones, one to test our knowledge on crash experiences. For the test flight, we did the first one and we crashed it. That was fun. But in the analysis of the crash, we found out that there were a lot of things that were taught theoretically that on the field comes to play. From the crash, we were able to see that our elevation is an integral part of our initial flight. The manipulation of the ailerons was very, very important when it comes to flight. Apart from the weight that you get from adding other payloads. The crash was a good experience for us to know exactly what we'll do in real time operations after our training. My name is W2 Awate George from Signal Training School. I am an instructor in telecommunication in Signal Training School. My Involvement in this training package has been a great success to me. I would say it is a great experience having been taught by Soko Ariel on drone engineering. Previously, I thought it was just about piloting and a few other things in the drone system, but my involvement in this course has taught me a lot more than piloting alone. I've now learned how to even create my own drone and also how to make it aerodynamics compatible. So I would urge all of you out there to come and take part in this engineering training. It is a good thing and it's a good success for Ghana Forces. Using the mission planner, we were able to use the Chichis 2 to fly around and map out our general area, which is very good for us in our operational duties. My name is Captain Cyrus Banji, the officer commanded 2nd Signal Squadron based in Kumasi. I joined the Suko area U UAS training as part of the signal team deployed by the Corps of Signals. Over a period of three weeks, I've learned a lot in the design and construction of drone systems. Our training was mainly on aerodynamics, the engineering of the craft itself, and today, as you can see, a test flight. My name is Second Lieutenant Enoksowa, Troop Commander, One Signal Regiment. As we all know, in recent times, the warfare has changed from the conventional type to the electronic warfare type. And unmanned aerial systems 
which has been used in the electromagnetic spectrum, is very, very essential in this current warfare. So, due to this factor, the command or the leadership of one signal regiment has thought it wise to equip us with the knowledge that we need to face the future of warfare. For this reason, we've been trained in the past three weeks on how to build the aerial system from scratch, from designing it, simulating it, cutting its part, putting it together, running codes on it, and for it to run. Today, we were able to run our first test flight at our Fenya airstrip, and it was a success, even though we had a few setbacks. This success is owed to the God Almighty first, and then second, to the command of the Signal Corps, and then Soko area. I urge everyone out there who wants to learn anything drone, from basics to very advanced, to contact Soko area to get the appropriate skills they require. I'd like to say that it has been a great opportunity being on this course, and it has been very wonderful learning. We have had a lot of experiences, we have had a lot of laughter, and the course has been very beneficial. This goes to show the huge potential that Soko Ariel, together with the Signal Fraternity, has in the UAV sector. I believe that anybody who wants to learn about UAV design here in Ghana and wants to advance his technical know-how must come to Soko area together with Signal Regiment and the Signal Training School to learn more about this design. I commend the leadership of the Signal Corps and the Ghana Forces for giving us this opportunity to equip us with this knowledge. We hope we transfer this knowledge to others and transform the image of the Signal Corps and the Ghana Forces as a whole. I want to give a warm commendation to the Signal Corps for coming up with this project. I believe that this is the future of the Ghana Armed Forces. When you need anything engineering related to drone, the best school to go to is Soko area in the whole of Ghana. Currently, Soko Robotics, I believe, is the premier drone engineering school in Ghana. And the success from our course and other projects that we undertook as part of the course speaks for itself. Kudos, Soko engineers. My name is Opokujo Ominta, the aerospace instructor for the Signals Regiment and Soko Area UAV training. And I'm Tony Agbemenu, a mechanical engineering and CAD instructor for our training program. Okay, so. Um, the aim of this course was to introduce students to the whole technology of UAVs and then in so doing we had to um, get um, their hands dirty a little in um, bringing all that we've learned into something um, practical. So we had to um, design this one. We did um, aerodynamics analysis, card designs, electronics and put everything together. So the students under the guidance of we the instructors we were able to put together um, this drone you see over here and then we've been able to fly it and it functions um, very well beyond expectation I must say. Yeah so apart from that it looks like there's still more we have to do. We are, uh, given the time we, 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 we use for this project it seems uh, the, what we got out of it was beyond expectation like he said. But there's still more work to be done. Okay, so for a first build and being able to fly on the first time, I, I must say it's quite impressive. So because for most of the times when you fly for the first time, you have um, to make some corrections and things may not go on so well. But to have it functioning perfectly the first time, I think it's quite impressive on the part of the students. My name is Owusu Edusai Kofi, CEO and founder of Soko Aerial Robotics. In your screens here, we have the first ever military-civil partnership drone built by the Center for Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Research, Education, Development. And this was a three weeks intensive training program under the leadership of the Communication of Directorate. This drone was built solely by the military with our support in terms of the engineering design the manufacturing, 
avionics and systems configuration. We are happy to have our partners have keen interest in this technology. And I would say a big congratulations to all the students for completing this wonderful course. We are grateful for all their time, we are grateful for their support. And also to the engineering team, we are grateful for the mass contribution. It's a four year research work that you see here and we are very grateful. From material to communication, everything was done from the ground up. Soko Aerial is a private robotic aviation company where we focus primarily on research and development into developing drones to support our security agencies, especially with the armed forces. Currently, in your screens here, we are building long endurance fixed wings to help our government fight terrorist issues pertaining to certain areas within our country. This is a long endurance fixed wing that is being developed by the Signal Regiment under the leadership of the Communication Directorate. This vision here has been purported by the leadership as Brigadier General Matthew Asian, Colonel Intem, Lieutenant Colonel Ankobia, Lieutenant Colonel Abbas, and all the officers at the core. We are grateful for their support, their immense direction, and their immense contribution to make sure that this technology comes to stay. A big thank you to my engineers for putting up this program. It's been a four years in research, and today, finally, we've been able to transfer the knowledge to the military, and we are very grateful for their learning. This research work has been successful due to the immense support from the leadership of the Corps. I would like to thank the leadership of this wonderful unit for their immense support for supporting this development. I would like to first thank Brigadier General Matuesian, Commander Special Operations, Colonel Intem, Director of Communications, GHQ, Lieutenant Colonel Abbas Mustafa, One Signal Regiment, Lieutenant Colonel Ankobia, Signal Training School. I would like to thank all the officers, men, civilian employees, engineers at the research lab for their immense support to helping this dream come to life. Thank you.